Good morning students. Today we will start with lesson number 11, rounding numbers. Now in our day-to-day -day life, we often round off numbers. Can you think of some examples? Let me give you one example. Okay, suppose you want to buy a pen and the cost of the pen is rupees 8. Okay, so you will go to your mama and tell her ki mama I need a pen the cost of which is 8 rupees. So what she will do? She will give you a 10 rupee note. She will give you a 10 rupee note because that will make her work easy. If she will uh, give you 8 rupees, she will have to find 5 rupees. Then she will have to find a change for you, 1 rupee ka coin or 2 rupees ke coin. So that will make her work difficult. Just finding out all the change in order to make uh, give you 8 rupees. So what she will do is, she will round off this figure, this 8 rupees, she has rounded off to 10 rupees and that will make her work easier. So this is when we require the rounding of the number. This is one situation in which we require the rounding of the numbers. Now what it is, what, uh, uh, why do we round off the numbers? We round off the numbers to make the number simpler. Us number ko simpler karne ke liye in order to make the number simpler so that it becomes easier to use. So that it becomes easier easier to use so we round off the numbers to make the number simpler so that it becomes easier to use but when we are rounding off the numbers you have to keep in mind that the 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 value of the rounded number should be very close to what the number was now this 10 is very close to 8 Okay, if mama will give you 50 rupees or she rounds off and gives you 50 rupees or 100 rupees. So that will be not close to 8. So the rounding, when we are rounding of the numbers, the value should be very close to the number we are rounding off. Is that clear? We will learn how to round off the numbers. So I'll start with the exercise 11a. In the first question, it's written round the given numbers to nearest 10. 10 means to the nearest tenth place. Now you know the places ones, tens, hundred, thousand like this. So we will mark the place like this is one place that and this is the tenth place. So near 10. So near 10 means I will underline the digit you can underline the digit on the 10th place so because i have to round this number to near 10 now first of all because i have to round to near 10 the next digit the next digit which is at the ones place that will become zero okay now we have to decide about the 10th place so there are two possibilities either the digit at the 10th place will become uh, will turn to the next digit like here it is 4 either 4 I will change into the next digit means either it will become 5 or it will remain 4 so there are two possibilities either this will change to the next digit or this will remain the same now what it depends upon it depends upon the digit next to it so we will look at the digit next to 4 this is 2 now the rule is if the digit the next digit is 5 or more than 5 5 6 7 8 9 if the next digit is 5 6 7 8 9 then this digit will change to the next digit like 4 will change to 5 but if it is less than 5 if the uh, next digit is less than 5 like it is 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 then this digit will not change okay this num digit at the 10th place will not change so let's see if I look to the right of 4 it is 2 and 2 is less than 5 so what it means that 4 will remain 4 only it will not change to the next digit 
okay now come to the next this is the c part first of all this is ones tens and hundred so near 10 means i have to round off to near 10 so to underline the 10 space okay so i have underlined the 10 space so the digit at the ones place first of all it will become zero because i am rounding off now i have to decide whether three which is at the tens place either it will change to the next digit either it will become four or it will remain the same so what it depends upon i will look at the next digit to the right of three to the right of three it's five so i said when it is five or more than five then this digit at the tenth place will change to the next digit it may means it will become four because the next digit is five and to the left of this tenth place it will remain the same because I have to look only for the tens place whether it will change or it will not change. Now come to the E part. So near 10 means I will underline the tenth place. This is the tenth place. Okay. So to the right of the tenth place which is at the digit at the one space that will become zero because we are going to round off the numbers. Now we have to decide about eight whether it will change to the next digit either it will become nine or it will remain the same so for that what we will do we will look at the digit to the right of eight image it to the right of eight that is five so what did i tell if it is five or more than five it means this eight will change to the next digit and it will become nine now the rest of the uh, the digits to the left of it that will remain the same is that clear now look at the edge part now the tenth at the digit at the tenth place is four so the digit at the ones place will become zero because we are rounding off the numbers now this four we have to decide either whether it will change to five to the next digit or it remains the same so we look at the digit to the right of this 4. This is 4 means this is less than 5. So it means 4 will remain as it is 4. And the rest to the left of the uh, 4, the digits will remain the same. We come to the next uh, question that is round to near 100. First it was round to near 10. Now it is round to near 100. So uh, what I will do in this is I will because I have to round to near 100. So I will underline the digit at the 100 space. 1, 10s, 100s. I will underline the digit at the 100s place. Now to the right of the 100s place, the 10s place and the 1s place both will become 0 because we are rounding off the numbers so both the digits at the tens place and ones place will become zero so do two zeros we will have ten for the ones place for the tens place now we have to decide about the hundreds place so we will look uh, the hundreds place either it will change to the next digit or it will remain the same either two will change to three or it will remain two as it is now how i will decide i will look at the digit to the immediate right of this two like at the tenth place now i will look at iske bilkul saath wala number dekhna hai now this is six and 6 is more than 5 so it means this 2 will change to the next digit means it will become 3 is that clear now look at the c part first of all i will mark the hundreds place because we are ending off to near 100 so the digits at the ones and tens place both will become zero okay now we have to decide whether 8 will change to the next digit means 8 will either it will become 9 or it will remain the same what how i will decide i will look at the digit to the immediate right of 8 
बिल्कुल साथ वाला डिजिट उसका उसके राइट पे सो इफ आई लुक टू द राइट ऑफ एट इट इज नाइन एंड नाइन इज मोर देन फाइव सो इट मीन्स दिस एट विल बिकम द नेक्स्ट डिजिट विच इज नाइन and the, to the left of it it will remain the same now e path which is a hundreds place which is a digit at the hundreds place it's nine so ones tens and hundreds so the digit at the ones and tens place both will become zero now nine either it will change to the next digit or it will remain same like nine either it will become 10 or it will remain same how i will decide i will look at the next digit bilkul sath wala at the tens place now you can see at the tenth place it is 6 which is more than 5 it means 9 will become 10 so how 9 will become 10 means what will happen now so for for 9 I will write one zero here and one I will give to the I cannot write ten together ten के बाद फिर three no so because it has become ten so you write zero here on the hundreds place and one you give to the next digit so next digit will become four otherwise you can say this is thirty nine right. and because the next digit is 6 which is more than 5 so 39 will become 40 or 9 in place of 9 because 9 will become 10 so i'll put a zero here and one i will carry and 3 and 1 will become 4 so it will become 1 4 4 0 now come to the f part which is the hundred place One stands hundred, so this is the hundreds place. So the digits at the ones and t tens place both will become zero. Now we have to decide about this hundreds place. Either two will become three, or it will remain the same. Now how I will decide? I will look to the immediate right of two at the tenth place. It's zero. It is less than five. It means two will remain the same, and to the left. the numbers will remain the same third question in the third question they are asking you to round off to the nearest thousand so first of all i'll mark the thousands place like ones tens hundred and thousand so i'll underline the thousands place and all the digits at the ones tens and hundreds place will become zero because we are going to round to near 1000 so the digits as ones tens and hundreds space all the three digits will become zero now i have to decide about the thousands place now at the thousands place you have 5 so either 5 will change to the next digit that is 6 or it will remain the same it will remain 5 only how i will decide i will look at the next digit the next digit is 8 which is more than फाइव नाउ आई विल लुक एट द हंड्रेड्स प्लेस बिल्कुल साथ वाला नंबर देखना है उसके राइट पे सो इफ इट इज नाउ दिस इज एट विच इज मोर देन फाइव सो इट मीन्स दिस फाइव विल चेंज इन टू सिक्स सो वेन आई एल राउंड ऑफ दिस नंबर दिस विल बिकम सिक्स थाउजेंड अगेन मार्क द Num digit at the thousands place. This is eighteen. So the digits at the ones, tens, and hundreds place will become zero. Now the third digit at the thousand place, which is eight, either it will turn change into next digit nine, or it will remain the same. So how how I will decide? I will look at the digit. इमिजिएट टू द राइट ऑफ एट बिल्कुल इसके साथ वाला सो इट इज़ फाइव सो आई सेड वेन द डिजिट नेक्स्ट डिजिट इज फाइव और मोर देन फाइव देन दिस डिजिट गेट्स चेंज सो एट बिकॉज इमिजिएट टू द राइट ऑफ एट इट्स फाइव सो एट विल बिकम नाइन सो एंड दिस विल रिमेन द सेम नाउ द थाउजेंड्स प्लेस इज जीरो Okay, so the digit at the ones, tens, and hundreds place will become zero, zero, zero. Now I have to decide the thousands place. Either zero will change into next digit that is one, or it will remain zero. So look at the next digit at the hundreds place. This is more than five. It's seven, which is more than five. So zero will become one.
and to the left of this they will remain the same now the thousands place ones tens hundred this is the thousands place so all the digits at the ones tens and hundreds place will become zero and i will look uh, to the right of nine to the thousands place nine jo hai uske saath wala number kya hai it is more than five so it means nine will become ten and what i will do so in place of nine i will put zero and one i will carry okay so nine will become zero and one i will carry so the next digit will become three plus one four okay so also you can see this is together it is 39 or jab saath wala digit is more than 5 so 39 will become 40 or the rest of the digits at the back will remain the same now we will do the fifth question in this fifth question they have given you one number 36 lakhs 48,271 now this same number you have to round off first to near thousand near ten thousand near lakh near ten lakh the same number okay so now the same number first of all the a part near thousand so First of all, I'll make the thousands place because I have to near thousand. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh and ten lakh. So I have to round off to near thousand. So I have underlined the digit at the thousands place. Now the digit at the ones, tens and hundreds place, they will become zero, zero, zero. Now I have to decide about the thousands place. Either it will change into nine, 8 ka 9 ho jayega ya 8 will remain as it is 8. So what we will do? We will look to the immediate right of it. What is that? It's 2. Uske bilkul saath wala number is 2 which is less than 5. So it means 8 will remain 8 only. Okay. And the piche wale digits will remain the same. So this is how I will round off this number to near 1000. Now they are saying near 10,000 so I'll mark the place 10,000 the digit at the 10th 10,000 place is 4 now the next all the digits will become 0 ones place tens place hundreds place thousand place will become 0 now we have to decide about the digit at the 10,000 place either it will change to the next digit either 4 will become 5 or 4 will remain 4 only so how I will decide I will look at the next digit bilkul saath wala at the thousands place now because this thousands place number is bigger than 5 it means 4 will change into next digit 5 or piche wali digit will remain the same so this becomes 36 000, uh, lakhs 50 thousand now nearest lakh so what i'll do i will mark the lakhs place which is six six is there at the lakhs place so all the digits till the ten thousands place one tens hundred thousand ten thousand all will become zero ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand place will become zero now six now six either it will become seven change to the next digit or six will remain six only what how i will decide i will look at the to the right of six bilkul uske saath wala number is four which is less than five it means six will remain six only or uske left wala digit will remain the same now i have to round off this number to near 10 lakh so which is first of all i'll mark the place at the 10 lakhs okay now 10 lakhs you can see that uh, now all the digits uh, till the lakhs place will become zero so one stands hundred thousand ten thousand lakh till the lakh place all will become zero now i will look at the digit at the 10 lakhs place is three so either three will change into four or it will remain same how i will decide i will look to the next digit of three at the lakhs place so at the lakhs place the digit is six which is more than five so it means three will become four so this whole number will become 40 lakhs